Hey everybody, Ryan Schrott here from PC Perspective, and I apologize again, I'm trying not to make a habit of these uh, selfie style videos, but if I'm out of town and some interesting news or information comes about, I figure this is a, a more uh, appropriate way of informing you as opposed to waiting for me to be back in town two days later at the studio and, and make a normal video. But anyway, um, I got some information this afternoon, this evening, uh, about NVIDIA and its plans for three and four-way SLI that I felt were interesting. These are actually changes from their stated positions when the GTX 1080 and 1070 launched. Uh, the long story short is uh, I, I had in four GTX 1080s. We started to do our testing. We were waiting for the supposed enthusiast key. If you remember when they launched the 1080, they talked about the idea of they were only supporting two-way SLI officially. If you want to do three and four-way, you'd have to go to a website, register uh, an account, get a key that would unlock the firmware in your card so that it would enable three-way and four-way SLI, and then you'd kind of be on your own. They already said they weren't going to really support three-way and four-way uh, specifically, uh, but if you wanted to do it for benchmarking or for gaming or, or for whatever purposes, there you go. Um, so when I got these four cards and I was trying to get a hold of this website or an enthusiast key to unlock our system, and NVIDIA said, well, we're... Uh, you know, wait, wait on your story for a day. We're, we're trying to figure something out. And so I knew something was up. And uh, they came back to me with uh, a what I first thought was going to be really good news for the community was they were getting rid of the enthusiast key. They no longer had to worry about going uh, to a website and registering your cards and, to enable three-way and four-way SLI. But what they've also done is taken away their plans to actually enable three-way and four-way SLI uh, for anything except very specific benchmarking or overclocking type applications. So think 3D Mark, uh, Unigen Heaven, Catzilla, those things that have leaderboards where NVIDIA you know, didn't want their GeForce brand to be left off of leaderboards um, because of their uh, decision to not allow three-way and four-way uh, cards. Um, but only those applications will be enabled for three-way and four-way on GTX 10 series uh, going forward. That includes the 1080 and the 1070. So you'll be able to get that capability without an enthusiast key just by installing a new driver. So future drivers, game-ready drivers, will have uh, support for that built into it. But you will not have the ability to run multiple GPUs, or more than two GPUs, I should say, uh, for games. Um, the exception being if you're running a DirectX 12 title, games like this don't exist yet, by the way, that will access more than two GPUs on its own. Obviously, you'll still have that capability. It doesn't depend on NVIDIA's uh, SLI uh, configurations or capabilities at all. Uh, but any game that might have, quote, just worked with three or four GPUs in the past, um, and maybe you saw good scaling with that, uh, will not actually work with the GTX 1080 and 1070. So it's quite a significant change in their stance. Uh, and it kind of mirrors their statements about what their what their feelings were on three-way and four-way SLI, really back a couple of generations privately and publicly since the GTX uh, 10 series launch uh, started underway. So as of today, mm -hmm. that basically means that uh, GTX 1080 and 1070 will not have three-way, four-way SLI enabled uh, for games, only for benchmarking. Um, and so anybody that out there that has purchased three or four 1080s, um, with that in mind, first of all, you got a lot of money, good for you. Uh, significant investment into PC gaming. However, unless you're in it just for benchmarking, you're probably going to want to return two of those and just keep two in your system for standard SLI. So I've got a link to uh, the article on PCPro.com that details these changes in the description below. Uh, and um, give me a thought. Give me your thoughts in the comments, guys, about what you think this means. Does it really not matter? Three and four way is such a very, very, very small niche market of the of the PC gaming crowd that it's really not going to affect anybody financially. It's just kind of a, an irk for uh, for a handful of people. Or do you think it signals some other kind of fundamental change uh, for NVIDIA or, or for PC gaming? So again, I apologize for the uh, phone selfie video style for some of this stuff, but I figured sooner rather than later on this one would be good. Thanks, guys.